Hi everyone, it's Nancy. I'm back with a little piece of ephemera, kind of like a journaling spot, can be a tuck too. I'll, I mean, a tuck also. So, um, you know, just was playing around with paper. I'm sure it's been done, but I really liked it. So I thought I'd show you how easy it is and, and that. So here's my two examples. I have one with the flap opening to the left, and then I have one opening to the right, just to show you that you can make it for you know either page. Um, this is the size I came up with. I think it would fit on a normal journal size page. You can always play around with the measurements and make it bigger or smaller, but I thought this was a good size for a regular size journal page. Um, so I made two here, and this one here I made because I am making a beach themed journal for my um, vacation. So I wanted to make a piece of ephemera to go in the beach journal. Now I'll tell you all the um, digitals that I use and I'll also link them below, but um, I wanted you to see um, this is it. And um, I have these uh, um, these dies, um, it, it cut cuts and emboss, sorry. <laughs> And anyway, um, you could uh, glue this on a page, and I was looking for a page to show you. Uh, let me see if I have one here. It would be nice if I was prepared, right? Um, uh, let me get one here. So I mean, let me just get a piece of my coffee dyed paper here, and I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So if you were to um, glue this on a page... Um, that would that's how it would be now you could even you could have it a side tuck here or you can have a pocket back here and then what you do is this just flips out from under here if I can do that yeah it just flips out oh okay hold on see <laughs> I just glued that down that's why so you would flip this out and then um, what you do is it folds down and you have this huge journaling spot and I think it's super cool so and then you just fold it back up and then you can just tuck this under here and this is just a made out of cardstock this is a star oh my gosh hello starfish and the shell so and um you can also decorate the top here or whatever but I thought it was a really cute idea and then also if you you know have it on this side of a page look at this gorgeous paper too and so I did that and then you flip this out and you could do the the tuck or the pocket and then fold this down and you have a journaling spot so I'm going to show you how to do it and so I'll let you know right now what the digitals I use to make these two examples. So the sh uh, shell paper, which is super, super pretty, is from PKKJ Designs. I'll link them below. And then the inside of this was just uh, one of Ruby and Pearl's uh, basics that I used for the inside of this one here. And then this gorgeous one here, this paper, look at that. And then we're going to make one like this. This gorgeous paper is new from Marisa at Sweet Pea Curiosities. It's called um, Painted Flowers. And I am in love with this kit. And so the inside that I used, which is another kit I'm in love with, is Amy from Crafty Cat, her Spill and Tea. So that's what the inside is. So um, what I can say is I think it's best to use a paper that's non-directional. Um, maybe a collage page would even work, although sometimes, depending on you, the way you fold it, it's going to be directional in some way. But, um, you know, if you decorate the front, because these are pretty ornate, so I didn't want to put too much on them, um, you can decorate the front. But anyway, just play around with it and, and, and try different, um, you know, papers and designs. So I'm going to put these to the side. So I want to show you how easy it is. Here's another sheet of this gorgeous painted flower paper. And I backed it with Amy's Spilling Tea. So this is what we're going to do. It's super easy. I made myself a template here. That's what it looks like right here. Okay. So let me get my cutter out. And what you're going to do, once you have a double-sided paper, one for uh, journaling on one is your design okay um so 
uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole eight and a half by 11 sheet and uh, cut it down to six by 11. So then you're going to have this strip here and we're going to have to figure out what to do with that gorgeous strip for sure. Okay, so then uh, you have to decide, do you want the flap on the right for a right side page or do you want the flap on the left for a left side page or just make a bunch up on for both and then you'll have them. So um, this one here, I'm going to make the flap on the right side. So what we're going to do then is um, we are going to make a score line at one and a half. Uh, let me see. Yeah, one and a half inch score line on the right side. So um, that's what you're gonna do. So let me. Now I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna score it here, but I need to flip it over here to see on my scoreboard on my cutter here. Okay. So one and a half. Now you have to decide. You know this. This just determines the flap side. So. Remember, if you want the flap on the left, you're going to score one and a half here. If you want it on the right, you're going to score one and a half. Really, if it's a design that doesn't matter which way it goes, it doesn't matter, okay? So, but I mean, if you have specific, you just want to think about that. Let me move my cutter blade. I'm just giving it a light score. I do print um, my printables on 28-pound paper. So I just scored it very lightly, actually, so light I can barely see what I'm doing here <laughs> okay let me do it hope everybody's doing well the weather's beautiful I'm having fun with these new printables that I found I love them They're so beautiful okay enough so I want I'm going to have my flap on the right side this way okay so I turned it here so I want my flap on the right so I scored it here then what you're going to do is from the top um, you're going to measure down four and an eighth and score so top four and one eighth and I'm going to give a light score there okay so let me get rid of this cutter all right so we have, and then you're just going to lightly fold on your score lines on the two that we just made. And then you'll probably want to use your bone folder to give it a nice crease. And then my other score line is over here. Okay, I've got to see it. Can't see. And just, you know, make sure you get it as best you can. Okay, so there we have score score so this is one and a half oh you know what I did <laughs> I think I scored no no did I do it wrong oh my gosh really well I guess this is going to be a left-handed one did I score on the wrong side no I thought I didn't oh dear um well I did I'm, I guess I'm making this a left-handed one anyway doesn't matter um I think what I wanted to do was turn it over and score the the over here um, because I wanted the uh, four and eight, four and an eighth from the top, which I did, but now I left it. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. But anyway, this is for, for the flap on the left. You want four and an eighth. So you scored the line here, like I did here, and then down four and an eighth, okay? So, yeah, we're doing fine. If you wanted it the other way, you would do one and, one and a half, and then down four and an eighth. Oh my gosh, crazy, huh? Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is cut, leave this four and an eighth flap up here, and we're going to cut this out here now you can do it on a cutter you can rip it or just cut it with your scissors and I'm just cutting on my fold line here the best I can up to that four and eight score line and then cut that off okay so you see what I did 
I cut this part off right here. So you have a nice strip to play around with. Okay, so we have this, and now we have the four, four and one eighth. So now we're gonna fold this up, not exactly to meet the fold, just below it, so it doesn't get caught. Like, uh, not even a quarter inch, like an eighth of an inch. Give it a crease. So then you, you're able to fold that up, and that folds over like that. That's what it is. Now, I I like to um, round the corners. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm going to round the top and then the ones on this little flap because I think it looks really nice like that. So this is folding up. This folds over. You see? Just like this one here. Like that. Okay. All right. Now... Uh, you don't have to ink, but I did, on these two, I did a light inking. You you know, not a heavy inking. So I will go and give everything a light ink. I think these would be great, you know, made in different sizes, even like, mini not miniature, but like small. I think it'd be super cute, a little smaller, if you had a smaller journal. Um, and then I just unfold this out and give it real quick ink. If you wanted to, you could round those corners too. I, I didn't want to. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's necessary, but you could do what you want. You know, if that's what you like. And then let me get the inside here a little bit. So I went to... Um, Target today and bought an air fryer because so I'm going to try to start using that to eat healthier for my husband and I and because I hear good things about it so if anybody has a great recipe or something that works really well in an air fryer let me know because I'm going to try it we'll see so okay I think I inked everything here that I wanted to yeah, I think I did. Okay. All right, so that's good. So that's what it is. And then you fold that over. Now you need a little closure to uh, put there. Now you can use anything. And then if your paper's not as ornate as this one is, um, you can do a little collage over here. Um, another thing you can do is um, instead of the closure we're doing here, where it's just this tuck here, you can glue a piece of ribbon or string, come around and tie it here. Um, I have another idea I'll make in another video that's similar to this, but it works a little differently. But anyway, we're going to make it with just um, a Tracy label. And I had a punch and I picked out the yellow uh, I had cardstock, so I just did a punch to because this is label is just you know paper, so we need something just a little stir. Excuse me, just a little sturdier to um, hold the flap in. So I'm gonna glue the Tracy label on here. Um, I haven't, yeah, I had a few days off. We were out of town for a while, and. Um, so I'm going to glue this here. And then I'm going to try to get a couple more videos up. I'm having some knee surgery next Tuesday. So if you're missing me, um, that's where I'm at. And it should, shouldn't be too bad. So, but I might not, I might not be in the mood to make a video next week. But I will try my best because that's what keeps me going, right? Our crafting. Okay, so then you decide where you want to put it. And then I'm going to put some glue back here. Make sure you don't put glue over the whole thing. Otherwise, it won't, it won't work as a closure. So get some glue on there. And then center it or wherever it's pleasing to your eye. Put that down. And then I'm not going to open it yet. Let's get give that a... Let me give that, um, keep that down for a minute. So we'll just show you these again. 
So yeah, like I said, if you put this on a page, um, you can use it as a tuck um, back here, put a tag back there. Uh, if it's a left page for this one, you can even, instead of down here, you can put something in there if you wanted to. And then this one here is going in my beach journal. So I can do the same. And then this one flips out. Flip it out. And then you have all this journaling spot here. Okay. So it's a real quick and easy project. Um, just play with it. Um, and then... You know, make a couple different sizes if you want. I think it'd be cute smaller. I don't know if I'd make one bigger unless you're really making a big journal, but I think it's kind of fun. It's just simple, fun, depending on the paper, you know, decorate it if you need it. But I really love that. It's a real nice journaling, a lot of journaling spot and to put a tag. Um, okay, so this one should be ready. So you just open that up, fold it down. You have all that nice writing space there fold it back up and then just tuck that in and that's it that's that's what it is so i hope you like this quick and easy project let me know in the comments and i hope you have a wonderful day thanks for watching bye